Hello, Face Punch. Um, I was asked to do a lighting tutorial for uh, Hammer, but uh, instead, I think I'm going to do an, an informative tutorial on three of the light settings, which are constant, linear, and quadratic. Um, you may have seen these settings, you may have tried doing stuff, but having no special result to them, uh, you probably, you might not really know what they do, but I'm going to do my best to explain to you what they do. So, um, in this first, well, I, okay, well, first I want to say that all the light entities in here, um, are exactly the same, except for the three constant, linear, and quadratic settings. Um, on my left side here, I have a light entity, and on my right, I have the light spot entity. Now, both of these entities have the constant set to 1, and linear and quadratic set to 0. Now, constant basically is an infinite light. You can basically make a map the size of whatever, and add in one light entity, give it the constant setting, and it will be infinitely lit. The only thing is, is that the light will go on forever until it hits a wall or an object, or a face, or whatever. Um, to show this, and this is kind of cool, uh, I have two really big rooms here. Now on my left is the light entity. There is only one light entity in here. It is at the default settings, um, except for the constant, linear, and quadratic. Constant is set to 1, and linear and quadratic is set to 0. As you can see, it is lighting the entire room. Now, if you don't believe me about this, you can even load up Hammer yourself, make a giant room, and have at it. And then over here is the light spot entity. Um, it does the exact same thing. This light will go on forever until it hits the face, which it does, the floor here. Um, it's pretty neat. So, just, you know, be careful when you use it. It's, uh... Yeah, I'll just let you go on with that one. But uh, the next one is linear. And the reason I'm starting with constant, I'm kind of actually going backwards here, but uh, linear, I really feel like I should explain this one first before I explain quadratic. Um, the way linear works is that it's... The way the light falls off into darkness is, well, linear it stays at a very constant rate and doesn't diminish over time like the uh, quadratic setting does and I'll explain that in a second but uh, on my left here I have the light entity and then on my right the light spot um, spotlights may not be so easy to tell apart um, that's probably something you're just gonna have to play with in your own levels this is a very simple you know test level I made but uh, the uh, yeah, quadratic is the next one. Um, now, the thing about quadratic is that the farther away the light goes from its source, the more diminish diminished it will become. So, like, let's say uh, that I'm just going to kind of make something up here, but let's say we have the linear settings here, and light falls off, it becomes darker every one unit, so one unit away it becomes darker, one unit away it becomes darker, etc, etc. But let's say we have our quadratic here, it goes like one unit away it becomes darker, one unit away it becomes even more darker, and then another unit away it becomes even more darker than before. And that's kind of a, kind of a simple way of putting it, I guess. I'm trying to do this the best I can of doing this two o'clock in the morning, but, uh, you know, whatever. I got the time. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the difference between constant, linear, and quadratic. Um, I guess it's really just up to you how you decide to do this, but the other, the last thing I want to explain is that you can have all three of these settings, the constant, linear, and quadratic, set at once, but... Think of it as like this. They all have to equal 100%. So you can have a constant of 6, and then like a linear setting of 3, and then a quadratic setting of 1. They all equal 100% when added together. So uh, that's basically how that works. So like, that would be exactly the same as having 
like constant at 60, linear at 30, and then quadratic at 10. It's all the same thing. They won't, I don't, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have any different effect. But uh, that's basically how the three settings work. It's really neat and all that jazz and fancy work. Now get back to making maps and stuff. I'm tired of seeing crap in the everywhere. Stop doing flat grass.